This whole area of land was once populated. It was a lively, thriving neighborhood that was part of what made Truro alive. And in the 1960s, for all the best reasons, it was evacuated, people were moved away and so on. And I think that the town has now gone through a cycle of development and it's coming out the other side of it. And we need to be looking at how this area, this, this piece of land can actually reinvest, re, reinform people about the centre of Truro. So I would like to see people living here. I would like to see people working here, living and working here. I would like to see people being able to use a railway up at Claremont Terrace a passenger halt and I would like to see that neighbourhood, Pidar Street neighbourhood, recreated in a modern way for the future so that there are people living in town, there's a lively economic and social life going on in town uh, and people feel that it's a place that it's good to live in and that it's good to visit as a result because it's populated, working and lively. major city, city centre site which has been in a pretty poor state for a long time. It's all owned by the council, we've got a lot of empty buildings there. Um, it's a key site that we want to bring back into use for the benefit of the city as a whole and we're now at the stage of you know making the commitment in principle to go ahead. Uh, we've employed master planners to come up with a scheme but we're really keen before they come up with their scheme that they talk to the people of Truro. We want people to come along, give us their ideas about what they like about Truro, what sort of things they'd like to see and we want to see how we can incorporate all those into something which will be of great benefit to the city as a whole. It definitely needs redeveloping because how it is at the moment is a complete eyesore and a waste of space. Um, I think it would be good to get a combination of shops, leisure facilities and affordable housing. But my worry would be the impact on the rest of the town. I think in other towns such as Plymouth where you've got Drake Circus, the impact on the other side of the town meant there's a lot of empty shops so I wouldn't want that to happen in Truro. I'm a Tro Tree Warden and I think that the most important, well obviously from a Tree Warden's perspective is that the existing trees within the site are retained and any new plans uh, accommodate them and uh, are, I mean not all the trees can be saved up there but as many as possible. They, there's probably about 40-50 trees up there at least. They, there's probably about half an acre of ground that they grow in and they contribute quite a lot to the the environment of Truro and the, the, the air quality, the wildlife and all the sorts of things that the trees do for us. So they need to be considered within any development plans. I think people, a lot of people have mentioned the fact we don't have any community hall and I think people would like to see somewhere that they could enjoy um, maybe cafes possibly by the river and um, somewhere that's just pleasant to wander around in and somewhere where people can live maybe reasonably affordably. There will be housing I mean we do need more houses and houses in the city centres are the best place to put them from a sustainable point of view uh, but you can't just have just housing there will be some element of commercial we are talking to the university and they may well be putting people and students in here uh, so it will be a mixed site there will be a small there won't be a lot of retail we're not talking about shopping malls these days because those days are long gone um, so we're not trying to you know we won't be harming the retail existing retail centre of Truro um, so it'll be complementary uses things that will be good for the economy of Truro as a whole. Mm -hmm.